J Drone here. What's going on, guys? These are 18650 batteries, those blue batteries. Typically, this is what the SEMA runs. We are going to run it off of one of these. Uh, advantages and disadvantages of running these in drones, you're not going to have as much punch as you would as far as LiPo goes. You should get an extended flight time. Um, you can see our normal battery right there. Maybe you can or can't see it, but it is, this is a 600 milliamp an hour. This is an 1800 milliamp an hour. I've already tied two of these batteries together to increase them to, uh, it was actually a little bit higher, 1400 milliamp an hour. I got 15 minute flight time off of two batteries similar to this. We're going to run one of these batteries, and you can see just ran a positive negative off the back, uh, proper connection and connect to the SEMA. We're going to see what type of flight time we can get. So we are going to get everything off here. We are going to be using a jumper T8SG Carbon. I'll try to link everything down below for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. We're going to go ahead and turn this on. And this is going to be a basic bones flight. This is going to be as much flight duration you could possibly think of getting. There's no wind in here. It's warm. There's no cold. You're not dealing with weather. And we are just going to lightly fly this. And hopefully not crash it. As you can see flies no problem and again this is going to be a light fly kind of like a hover test just to see what type of flight time we could get off that battery another added advantage of these batteries is versus lipo batteries you can take these a lot lower capacity than you can with a lipo without fear of damaging the battery itself hopefully my tape holds up <laughs> I can see on top it's uh, kind of flapping around. Now what this would be good for would be a long range FPV setup. Obviously are you going to take the seam a long range FPV? Most people aren't. Myself, I am. Uh, I'll stick an all in one camera on top of this if I get an excellent flight time. I will use this battery over the LiPo battery. Obviously we've increased weight slightly. But I've already done camera tests with the SEMA. Woo, want to come back this way. So as you can see, I need to pitch forward fairly quickly. It allowed me to. Um, I've already done, I've already put the Q6 on this. I've put other cameras on this drone. For a small drone geared brush to brush, it can hang. So I do believe it'd be able to hang with another small external battery on this to power AIO and send it. And again, I, I haven't tried this. Uh, I, I've been messing around wiring this. And if you go ahead and wire one of these up and you stick it on your drone, you get power. And you go to throttle up and your drone starts flashing. Your connections are either loose or you don't have big enough gauge wire. Because I've been messing around with this for two days and that's what I was getting initially. I was getting power to the drone and then I was going to take off and it would not lift off and my lights would blink and I'm thinking, what is going on? Then finally today I got the soldering iron out and I soldered all my connections. I soldered uh, the positive and negative to the back. I also added a length. That way we can get uh, the original connection on, plug and play. And uh, it's working. As you can see, it's working. Going to be a lot of jabber jaw here. I, again, I have no clue how long this is going to fly. Another minor drawback with this is if this does fly for a considerable amount of time, your motors are probably going to get a lot warmer than designed because the drone itself probably only designed to fly uh, maybe 7 or 8 minutes, give or take. And I'm only about half throttle. Uh, I'm trying to just really maintain... The most flight time that you can get with this. You can see I am pitching a little bit here and there. Just so this ain't the most boringest video ever. But I'm not going crazy like I normally do in here. Because I also don't want to crash the drone. Because we're trying to do a very controlled experiment. If I crash the drone, then the battery stops. And then we got to look at time and whatnot. And I'm really not trying to do that. At all. And again, we are only about half throttle. We'll try to look that. I can't see my screen. Hold on. Yeah, we're going to do this and we're going to end up crashing. Just try to do that and go back to see what my throttle is. Yeah, I'm at like 42% throttle. Obviously, we went much higher right there. 
but uh, just really trying to keep it eye level for you, trying not to have that uh, light directly above us and looking into it while I fly up towards the ceiling like I normally do. A lot of guys are using this on FPV drones. There's a guy over in Drone Days, if you're not familiar with Drone Days, it is the best Facebook group on Facebook. Maybe I'll put the link down below for that, just as well as everything that I'm using here. As long as I can find a link for it, I'm going to put it down below. But there's a guy over in Drone Days doing long-distance runs with these batteries. I think he's using a 2S or a 3S, maybe even a 4S uh, FPV drone using these batteries and getting killer flight times. That's kind of what intrigued me to do this. Also, these batteries, the battery pack that I showed you that was still in the package, you can go to your local Walmart and pick up. They sell them in the solar area because your solar devices use these type of batteries to light them. The solar panel charges the battery, it gets nighttime, and then uh, something activates in the light, and bam. And then you draw off of the power off of this. A lot of your motion detector lights that are wireless run off of these. Uh, a lot of your power drills... The batteries that they use obviously don't look like these, but if you broke them open, they got little cells just like these inside them, to my understanding. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to the channel. Give it a like. Uh, if you ever have any questions or comments, put it down below. I'll try to answer you. I do have a lot of subscribers, and I do have a lot of knowledgeable subscribers that are also YouTubers. That maybe if I can't answer the question, maybe they will chime in. But I'm pretty good with all things RC, pretty good with all things drone. I am no guru by any means. If I, I'll bring this in, maybe you can see my soldering skills. My soldering skills suck, but they're good enough to get a wire attached to something. Uh, that's why I generally do not build drones. I've built one or two drones, and it just, my soldering skills suck. That is why I do not build drones. I would rather buy them, fly them, and let that be that. Hopefully the hat cam outlasts the battery. It should. And if you were using an FPV drone, a brushless drone, again, a big drawback from this is you are not going to have the punchability that you would with the LiPo battery. The initial bang of power is what LiPos are really, really... Uh, that's what the draw is for lipo batteries. The the initial burst, the initial punch of power that you get. These don't offer that. But what these should offer is a longer flight time. Also, give you a little bit of leeway as far as draining the batteries pretty low. Hopefully everybody is having a good year. The year is actually wrapping up, despite all things that's going on in the world. Uh, myself, I lost two jobs, and uh, I traveled the United States a little bit, came back, and now I'm doing a little bit of masonry work, a little bit of carpentry, a little bit of concrete, and obviously we're still doing the YouTube thing. Lots of stuff planned for the channel. I'll try to bring down low. I don't know if that uh, light is getting in the way of the camera. Those lights are bright. The green and the orange, super bright. Again, I have no clue how long this is going to fly. I don't want to take my hat camera off and look at the timer because, again, then I chance uh, crashing. Pretty warm in my house, so bringing it over this way for, for, for a little breeze, that's actually pretty refreshing. <laughs> like we do out in the field in the summer to get the mosquitoes away to a little choppy choppy just bringing it over for a little air conditioning wife likes it hot it's cold in Pennsylvania and again clearly you can see this is working this is this is pretty awesome I think and again it has no issues lifting it no issues whatsoever like I said, the only thing that I can think of that maybe you will have an issue, I gotta itch my nose, hopefully we don't crash. We are good. Um, the only thing that you might see is a little bit more wear and tear on your motors, especially if we're getting a ridiculous flight time out of this, 
which I think we are going to get a ridiculous flight time out of this. I will feel the motors when we do decide to sit this down and see if they're burning hot or whatnot. Or maybe they're not. Maybe because those propellers are outputting a lot of air. Maybe it's self-cooling the motors, which are actually sitting right underneath the right underneath the propellers. I don't know. Maybe that was actually their design. And the battery is just held on there by electrical tape. Obviously, we can get a nice strap for it, clean it up. We could even make a little battery compartment for it where we could slide it in. That wasn't the plan here. The plan was get the battery on, get it in the air, do this little test, see, see what it is. And this is an old drone. This is not a new drone. X5C. If you guys know my channel, this drone's been around the channel for a long time. SEMA is definitely one of the hallmark standards. Now, I wouldn't say standard, but a hallmark stamp on the drone game. A lot of people started out with the SEMA X5C or World Tech Toy Striker or something of that nature. A really bare bones drone that has no features whatsoever. That way you can learn how to yaw. That's what we call yaw. Your spinning motion. How to pitch left to right. Inverted pitch when you're facing yourself. Now it's backwards. Now I'm pitching left and it's going right. I'm pitching right and it's going left. Turn it back around. Don't crash. It teaches you the basics. Um, obviously there is a gyro self stabilization on this so you're not going full acro uh, but it does definitely teach you the basics I'm really I wish I wish this hat cam talks any y'all remember Hattie put it down below if you remember Hattie I had a hat cam that used to talk uh, it, would, it would tell me low battery it would tell me recording it would tell me all types of stuff it's, I, I still have it but the battery on it's just about shot Bring it in for a little look. Try to keep it eye level. That way we don't got that light getting in our face. Feels so good. <laughs> that air feels amazing. And again, maybe that maybe that was a design, um, like a legitimate thought out design to have those motors directly underneath those propellers. If you guys like abandoned stuff, I do abandoned stuff too. If you like travel, I do travel stuff. Um, I do review other tech just as well as I have reviewed. Okay, so now we are losing a little bit of punchability. I have it here. I'm going to... Don't crash. So I'm going to full punch up. Full punch up. We are not full punching up. I have it full throttle up. So we've lost a lot of power. But we can maintain that height. We just do not have the punch. Before I was able to go up much greater. But as you can see, we are maintaining. I'm going to come down and... No, 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 As you can see, it's sagging a little bit. That's that initial burst punch I'm telling you about. I'm going to try to maintain altitude here. Because as long as I maintain altitude, it's holding the altitude... We are not dropping, we are still flying, but if I had to maneuver very quickly upwards, I don't think you'd be able to do it. Right now, I'm 100% up, and it's very slowly going up on a much better drone, not to say this drone's bad, but on a better performing drone, it might do a bit better than this, uh, just because, whoo, almost, almost, we're still rocking though. Um, just because this is a gear to gear drone and the payload on this isn't amazing, we are coming down. It is trying. I'm full throttle up. I'm full throttle up right now. I think we're just about done. Yep, we're just gonna call it. We didn't get LVC. We did not get LVC. We've been in the air. I can't see how long we've been in the air. Um, here, I'm going to pop my camera out, so please forgive me for doing that. Hold on, guys. Bam. So we've been 14 minutes. So 14 minutes and 45 seconds, give or take, we'll say 12 minutes with the wind-up or whatnot. So this battery 
will give you the equivalent of double stacking two of these batteries. If you if you take two of these and keep 3.7 volts and increase the milliamp an hour, one of those will do what two of these will do. So that's pretty good, I think. I think that's pretty good. Let me know what you think down below. Again, all I've done here is, bam, one of these batteries, it's plugged directly into the original spot. We'll go ahead and turn off the lights. Turn off the lights. Um, and again, this exact brand you can find in Walmart. Uh, I'll try to link these down below if I can find them on Amazon. You can also get higher milliamp an hour uh, batteries that aren't going to cause much more weight. They're not going to be much more bigger. They're going to be a little bit longer and maybe a little bit fatter, but the same voltage, higher milliamp an hour, and I think it'd do just fine. Again, a drone that had better payload, this might have worked a bit better with, but I think we did pretty good here. Guys, subscribe, hit the like button, check the